are big ones over here still. Oh, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Let's go over here, get over there. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Cut it in and put the floor in the gas. Put the gas in the floor. All right, watch this, y'all. See if you can keep your eye on that plug out there. Watch this. You're about to see the most horrific atomic bomb bite. It's like somebody freaking dropped a Volkswagen on top of, okay, he didn't. Oh, did he get it? Oh, I got him. 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 Let me say it again. I got him. For you guys that didn't know, I got him. I got him. Catch some fish on top water today. Should be a good day. Got a little wind, the heron spawning good. Let's go out there and see what they're gonna do. Look at that, stripers. I ain't got one on the hit yet though. Let's see. They come up at my, oh, those are big old stripers right there. There he is. That's definitely a striper. Well, we got some dinner, nothing else. Might not have got what we wanted, but we definitely gonna have some dinner after this is over with. Those are big stripers. Well, I'll probably be the only one I get to catch out of that batch. And that's one of them. That's one of the big ones. I might have to chase this bull. You know, that's one of them. He's not that big, but however the stripers, if they're, they're somewhere between, you know, five to eight pounds, on 12 pound test line, you can't do much with them. Look, he doesn't run through the line of the other rod that I had on the, in the water already let me see if i can i'm gonna have a mess here i got the other i dropped the rod when i saw him come up schooling picked up my jerk bait so that line is that line is still in the water i guess i'll just leave it it's gonna make a mess though it might actually be a hybrid there's a difference between a hybrid and a striper Jeez, they come up school enough here. I might be able to get that line off this time. There we go. I know this is a mess. That's not normal. Whoa! God, he ain't give up yet. <laughs> First time I knew they were hybrids and striper when they come up because they were just busting too hard. Like a largemouth, they kind of push the bait. The striper like to they like to smack the bait. You hear them. Pow, pow, pow. Sound like a shotgun going off, actually. That's exactly what that is, a big old striper. That's about a six or seven pound striper. I meant to bring my net. I literally almost brought my net just because I felt like I might run into these things today. And I did not grab it. Yeah, that's a seven or eight pound striper, maybe. That's something that'll get every hook in that jerk bait all in your hands. But they grill up really good. Let's see if I can. Ah, yeah, there we go. I think I did grab some pliers. Oh, shoot. Them things are dangerous. You got to be careful with them. Let's see. Get the troll motor here. Got a little troll motor issue here. At least that was somewhat fun. Uh huh. That's a little bit bigger than what I thought it was. Probably, definitely seven or eight pound striper. I think I'm gonna eat this thing. I like to blacken them, knock the size off of them, leave them on a half shell, put them on the grill. Probably gonna eat him today. Oh. 
gosh. Dang, bro. Good grief. <laughs> God dang. Uh, de de it must be this. It must be the striper day today. Like I have not even had a bass bite so far. Okay, okay. Uh, that's actually a pretty big one. That's actually. Oh, come off, you little punk! You, you just, you just, you are a punk. That's what that boils down to. You, my friend, are nothing more than a punk. Bomb on it. Holy smokes. Oh, look at them. They're schooling behind me. They're schooling. They're schooling behind me. Those are big ones over here schooling. They probably were schooling while I had my back turned. They're kind of sneaky like that. Dude, I don't even know how they see that plug. I can't, I can't even see it. I'm just hoping that I'm working it right. Think about <clears throat> soft, think about the soft plastic one. You got like there's, there, oh, he hit it. He hit it. There he is. Oh, God. There he is. There he is. Oh, don't get in the other plug down there. See, I've been throwing up there with that skimmer and they didn't want that. Sorry. God, they fight so freaking hard. He's going to get in the motor. <laughs> God. Let me get the trolling motor so I don't float back over the point. Jeez. I gotta admit that's pretty strong line because I had my I had my drag locked down. Jeez. That's kind of fun. <laughs> I really come to get redemption on bass, but I ain't really that mad, y'all. <laughs> I ain't really that mad. Oh. Uh yeah. Hey. Look at that. That's what my little boy says, look at that. So I know what you're probably asking. You're trying to figure out what kind of rod, reel, line setup I'm using for these two baits that I'm using. So let's break them down. Let's talk about them a little bit. After I get them untangled here, we'll kind of dig into what I got going on. But it's a super simple setup. This is not complicated. I promise you everything that I'm using, you probably already got or rod or reel, line hooks, something you got in your tackle box probably will work for this technique. I had two things that you saw me using today and obviously we caught a lot of striper but you can catch bass you can get i've caught redfish i've caught speckled trout using these same setups that you see me using right here so i have on the soft plastic jerk bait basically this is just a soft plastic jerk bait pearl white this is a z-man jerk shads and I got it on a 5 aught offset hook. Sometimes I'll throw one with like a, a kill weighted hook with a little weight because it allows me to throw it further. And sometimes since Elastec's buoyant and it'll float, sometimes I want the weight to get it subsurface. Uh, just depends on the mood of the fish. When they're more aggressive like they were today, they'll hit it on the top. So that's why I was just throwing a number 5 or 5 aught, I'm sorry, 5 aught offset hook, 5 inch Z-Man jerk shads. Four is the line, all right? I'm using 12 pound test fluorocarbon line. This is a fairly light bait. So when you go to throw it, if you try to throw 15, like you know, 17, 20 pound test, you won't be able to throw it very far. So I downsized the line so it'll let me throw it a little bit further. I do have another setup somewhere that I actually know I take it out. Sometimes I'll throw it on braid. The only thing about braid, when you make a long cast, set the hook, and you catch a fish, the braid digs down into the spool. So then when you try to make the next cast, the braids dug it down in the spool and it's a problem. You, you end up having to get a backlash or it takes you a minute to get that dug in part of the spool out. So um, I'm using a fairly fast reel. This is a Lose Pro TI. It's a, a seven three to one gear ratio reel. It's a pretty fast reel. You wanna be able to keep up with, uh, with the bait pretty good. And then sometimes you know, they'll come at you with the bait. So 12 pound test fluorocarbon, we got the reel. You know, you don't have to use a Luz Pro TI. This is just like the baddest reel that Luz makes. So that's why I use this one, but you don't have to have that one. Luz, uh, Luz Pro TI is super light. It's real smooth. It casts light baits really well. And then I've got it on a six stick. This is a favorite six stick. This is the 7.4 heavy action. 
It's a heavy action is what they rate it as, but it's pretty soft. You don't want anything too stiff with this bait for a couple reasons. You won't be able to throw it. And two, when they come up mouthing at it, you, you won't let the fish get the bait that well. So, uh, you know, something that's fairly forgiving in the tip, but not too stiff. Oh my gosh. Dude, I just had one freaking, I just had one freaking, oh my gosh. I'm talking about, I just had one freaking do an atomic bomb on it. It's like somebody freaking dropped a Volkswagen on top of, okay, he didn't, oh, did he get it? Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Let me say it again, I got him. For you guys that didn't know, I got him, I got him, I got him. I got him, I got him. Yeah. Oh shoot. Troll, oh, oh, God dang. Oh God. Did they come up school? That's not even that big of one. It's not even that big. It's not even that big. It's not even that big. Watch, I'm a boat flipping with this freaking $400 rod I got. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> I, I would hold him up for a long time, but by now you know what fish look like. I just want to catch another one. I just want to catch another one. Hold on, I gotta catch my breath, y'all. Yeah, yeah. They probably were schooling while I had my back turned. They're kind of sneaky like that. Dude, I don't even know how they see that plug. I can't. I can't even see it. I'm just hoping that I'm working it right. Because I can't even see the stupid thing. It's so little. It's so freaking little. Dude, it's the middle of the day. Usually you got to get out here early to do this. It's like 11 o'clock in the, in the morning. Like it's high noon almost. I've, I've never fished this bait before. This is, uh, I don't remember the name of it. But it's like, a, it's like a, I'm a skimmer. You're not familiar with the I'm a skimmer. This is a real finesse style topwater right here. It's, it's, you can see it's super skinny and has, it does have three hooks in it, but it's, it doesn't make a lot of noise. doesn't make a lot of splashing. It's a finesse style topwater. And sometimes, especially when the heron first starts spawning and it's kind of cool outside, they'll bite these better than they will uh, like the pencil popper or something bigger, or even just a normal spook. So. I was throwing this today on straight braid. If I had to do it again, I probably would add about that much fluorocarbon because this braid, since it's so limp, it will kind of get caught in that front hook. I don't think this is the best setup for, for this particular bait, but you probably could have used any kind of walking style topwater bait and done very well today. But that's 30 pound test braid. I like the 30 pound test because it's a smaller diameter, lets you cast further, and it lets the bait work better 50 pound test is a little stiffer than the bait doesn't want to walk as easy and on this one this is this is a real this is a serious fisherman's rod here this is a 7.2 medium heavy favorite hex it's a bad dude this is a bad bad mama jammer right here it's super light after you pick up this rod and you pick up anything else in your boat it feels like a brick but it's just because this rod is so light but this is a 7.2 medium heavy action the best top water rod that i've ever laid my hands on is this guy right here i'm throwing any kind of the big walking style top bar just because they work you so so hard i use this rod because it's so light and it's it just it's easy on my wrist and everything pair that up with this is the new lose custom this is probably my favorite reel besides the pro ti it's a little bit more affordable a 75 gear 751 gear ratio reel it's got different handles than the pro ti and some of the others the customs and so forth but this reel is super small it fits in your hand so well and it's lightweight because it is smaller so it just now i got a lightweight reel with a lightweight rod dude it's like i got a freaking like some nasa stuff in my hand to fish the top water with but this is a expensive setup you guys don't have to have this to fish top water this is probably a 600 dollars setup that i'm throwing on but i like it and I, I spend a lot of time with the top water this time of year so for me the investment is worth it but you guys you could use your six stick you can use the same rod and do the same thing that i did with this this is just the rod that i like to use Pull for the point. i couldn't even turn my gopro on and i had one i didn't caught a stripe but not one single striper right now Three days of fishing. Today is nothing but the striper showdown. But I like them, they kind of fun too. Just to be honest with you. Just 
tear up everything to get in your boat, tearing up your rod, breaking your rod, putting hooks in you. This is what I'm talking about with striper. This fool done got tangled up in the life jacket. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about with this crazy thing. They're tied up all in the freaking life jacket. I mean, what does he what does he want to do that for? He already can swim. Topwater plug is straight up. I saw him come up and wrap his lips around it. There he oh god, he missed it. He missed it. Did y'all see that one? He got it. Get, oh, there he got it. Got it that time. Another striper. Oh, look at him. Dude, they pull like freaking redfish. They hit it. Luckily, they got like deep water, so they kind of they kind of go the other way. That's a smaller striper that time. When I get this one in, I'm going to throw it in the floor. I'm going to throw it in the floor, and I'm going to throw it in the floor. I'm going to try to catch one on the top water plug. Okay. I did this number in the tournament several times. This is when you get them going, you kind of want to keep them going. So got that one to bite. I know that was several after my... Dude, I'm out of breath. That was, I know it was several after my fluke just then. So I threw my hard top water bait up there to see if I could catch another one. Because once you kind of figure out where they're, where they're at on the point, they don't stay there long. They're like chasing. Literally can't even see the thing. Really, really finesse. Just doesn't make much noise at all. He's just snaking through the surface there. I know it's another one up there. Get it, you sucker. Freaking striped bass looking oh god he got it dude, I, I told him to get it he came right on and got it <laughs> he swirled under it at first i said come on and get it he came he said all right all right all right all right all right he didn't even make a splash it's not even that big it must be this it must be the striper day today like i have not even had a bass bite so far Jerk baits, soft plastic jerk baits, top waters. I did catch one or two on a hard jerk bait, but anytime the shad is spawning, these baits will, will catch fish in your area. We have blueback heron right here where I'm fishing today, but they will catch fish on a shad spawn, any type of forage spawn. Those baits right there and those colors will catch fish on your body of water. So check them out. It was a fun day for me. Sorry I didn't catch any bass today at all, but it still was a good day of fishing. I'm gonna go home and probably fish with the kiddos a little bit this evening. So hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you share it with a friend. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the video so far and any ideas of something that you don't know about when it comes to fishing that you want to know about. I'll try to hit on it. If I know about it, 